sometimes if you tell a person to give a speech in front of people, they'd rather kill themselves than give that speech. Why? Because many people have stage fright. And stage fright is something that affects even the professional, even people who have been in the, in the, in the field of public speaking or even for a very long time, they find themselves they are facing stage fright. And stage fright is not something that should make you stop giving speeches because you don't know how to handle yourself or maybe you don't know how to overcome stage fright. Because in this video, we're going to be talking about how do you manage stage fright? If you're thinking of maybe giving a speech or if you have been called upon to give a speech and you know you're going to face stage fright, this is the right video for you. Today we're going to be addressing how do you really counter the problem of stage fright. Hello guys, welcome to Fist Talk Biz Talk. This is a channel to talk about businesses. We give you tips and insights on how to run, start and manage your business. And today we're going to be talking about five ways to manage stage fright. One of the ways to manage stage fright is number one, remember to be confident. We have always said that confidence is key. How confident you are will really determine if people will listen to your message or not. And even though sometimes you will not feel like you're confident enough, it's good to appear confident. How you walk, how you stand, your body gestures, your body posture will always communicate if you're confident or not. So it's always good to be confident. Believe in yourself. And even though you, you let's say you're preparing to go in front of an audience, before you enter that, that stage, always reassure yourself, reaffirm yourself that you are the best. You're going to deliver the, uh, the best speech ever. And you believe, always believe in the words that you're tell, telling yourself. And that way you'll be able to boost your confidence. And then number two, talk yourself down. How do we talk ourselves down? Number two, uh, the, the way you can talk yourself down is by reassuring yourself, breathing in, breathing out, reaffirming yourself, and maybe doing a small small rehearsal that will talk yourself down and cool your, cool your mind because at that time you find that your mind is really processing a lot of information at once and you feel like you're even getting nervous. So talk yourself down, uh, reaffirm yourself, reassure yourself, you can even hum, you can even just take a deep breath in silence and meditate. And that way you'll be able to calm yourself down. And then number three is visualize on the outcome. Visualize on the audience. If the if your outcome was to get the audience to understand the message, you now visualize them understanding the message and maybe clapping for you or maybe nodding or giving comments about the message. And that way, once you start visualizing about the outcome, now it starts becoming like a reality. And that way you are able to reduce stage fright. And then number four is make it fun. And what do we mean by making it fun? Because some, most of the times, when we, the, the reason why we face stage fright is because we are so serious about it. And when you're talking about making fun is that when you go out there and try to make a speech, it is good to engage your audience, ask them questions, maybe give a comment or two, ask them to give a comment about, maybe ask them a, something that you're talking about, let's say you're talking about dropping out of school. You can ask them. Maybe a person in the audience ask 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 them if they have ever encountered such a problem or do they know someone who has ever gone through dropping out of school. Ask them what are some of the reasons why people drop out of school. And create crack jokes here or there. And you find that once you start making it fun, stage fright leaves and you don't face stage fright anymore. And then number five, practice, practice, practice. And practice, we say that practice makes perfect. And if you want to be the, become the best public speaker, you have to practice. You have to listen to people who have been doing the, who have been doing public speaking, and learn from them. So make sure that you're always practicing. And once you practice, you find that it comes easy for you, and stage fright is stops being a problem to you. I hope you have learned a thing or two. If you have learned something, leave in the comment section, and I'll be sure to read it out. Make sure at the end of this video you like, comment, subscribe, share, and hit on the notification button so that every time I upload a new video you can be notified. And if you're interested in learning more about public speaking, enroll at Finstock University College, visit their website at www.finstockuniversity.com or call them at 0703-313-722 or send them an email at info at Until next time, goodbye.